sleep apnea is what is its physical constriction of the space which should actually have more space this is happening here also you can see it's getting close literally it's with short uh, lower jaw increase lower facial height so much of the flabby tissue which is the present in the You can see the entire jawline that's come about now. Now we've got a straight profile. So, I recently realized that uh, I have sleep apnea. Yeah. And it's 42 severe. So, I've been facing this since, uh, since childhood, it seems. Okay. Since adulthood, at least. After your facial growth is yeah. over, you should have had that. Right. Yeah, but this is uh, treatable. The good news is we can solve your problem once and for all. Uh, generally, what happens in sleep apnea, I'll quickly tell you in 2-3 minutes with some models so you understand. See, sleep apnea is what is, it's basically something very simple. You know, all of us have a space through which we breathe, yeah? This oxygen or the air that we breathe basically goes through the blood to the brain and other parts of the body. But what happens, because there is physical constriction of the space which should actually have more space, this is happening. Okay. And this is mainly two areas, behind the nose and behind the mouth or the jaw. So hyperpharyngeal and hypooropharyngeal, both these areas. So if you look at the scan, or the model, sorry, I'll show you. So this is the upper jaw and this is the windpipe, just behind that, right? So what happens if your upper jaw is behind, you can see the space gets constricted. I'm gonna show you on the scan as well. So this is the area we're talking about behind, okay? So what tends to happen for patients with an obstructive sleep apnea is, see here also you can see it's getting close literally. There should be a gap here. This is wherever you see light color, mm -hmm. it's all air. This is all bone, like really dark ones. Mm -hmm. In between one is soft tissue. This is a CT scan or CBCD. So now you look here very carefully. This is your tongue. You can see by the shape of the tongue. This is your uvula. So, now I was just trying, because people can't understand with the scan. Right. So, for you to understand, sometimes yeah, this yeah. thing helps. I'm a technical student. Right? So, you'll understand easily, I'm glad. So, now what we're going to do, so you see, the issues with the, it could be with a little bit of the nose. Mm. That could be with this complex. Okay. This complex is called as maxillomandibular complex. Okay. Upper jaw, lower jaw complex. What it also involves is the tongue. The tongue is actually attached to that by muscles. Mm -hmm. So if you bring the lower jaw, upper jaw forwards and move it, tongue comes with it. Okay. Because of the muscles that are attached to it. Are you getting the picture? Okay. So now when you have an AHI index of 42, usually it means there's a severe obstruction. Okay. So minor obstruction can be sorted out with some simpler procedures, UP3, septoplasty, minor, minor things. There are many that we could do and also that we can find on the scans. But when it gets to be on the severe side, and also you have a classical faces for that. Right. When I look, I can see that you have that typical concave face, right, right. your mandible is short, upper jaw is also thick growing. So it all gives a good correlation with your complaint, right. with the scan, and therefore it's 99% going to get sorted out, 100%. Right. You should be able to get rid of this problem for life. So what we will do in the treatment is, I will not talk about millimeters and amount of movements, but just like that, the upper jaw, it's like this, let's say. So this will be moved forward. At the same time, we will tip it like this. Yeah, Anti-clockwise, you know, or towards the body, not towards the head, like uh, cranial. Downwards still happen. Why? Because then only this airway increases. And when we do that, the lower jaw will also come forward and will go down again in that same angulation. Okay. So because this is the space and it comes forward and like this, this space, space increases. increases. Full space will increase. Okay. So I do, I do space because you know, and, uh, when I'm awake, like in the normal also, and I'm breathing, yeah. and I'm into the position well. Still, it's the snoring voice. A lot of people, they don't like, why are you snoring? <laughs> yeah. Even, breathing, while breathing, I'm sound. snoring. So it, it happens in that way as well. So, and uh, whatever the sleep apnea symptoms are there, because uh, it's already there. Yeah, so you're a proved case of uh, sleep apnea. So I don't have to go into proving whether you have sleep yeah. apnea or no. 
otherwise the first step for me is to ascertain if you are having sleep apnea mm -hmm. but that's already proven you already know you're already yeah, on medications yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly so so now and also on the scan and also looking at you everything is matching therefore the diagnosis is confirmed chapa mar gaya that's it finished now to solve it we have to do like a maxillomandibular advancement with genioplasty jaw surgeries mm -hmm. and i would also do some work on your septum okay. because when i fracture it i can work on the septum so the septoplasty element of the nose also gets tackled at the same time only i won't be doing a rhinoplasty which is a cosmetic aspect of the surgery because this itself is a major surgery and your main problem is functional all right gentleman with us today he came to us with a chief complaint of disturbed sleep and snoring and we have done a sleep study for him so it's in the, it's showing ahi index of 42.2 which indicates a severe sleep apnea uh, if you see his profile it is very much evident he has a very short is that can you please close it uh, side he has very short uh, lower jaw and if you look at the chin it is very short and decrease lower facial height and very retrusive chin and with so much of the flabby tissue which is the present in the submandibular region so what we planning for him is an bijaw surgery that is going maxillary maxillary mandibular advancement and the counterclockwise rotation by doing this procedure we are going to increase the posterior uh, airway space and there is more space for tongue to accommodate so the tongue fall will be prevented and also we are planning for an advancement genioplasty which also helps in the repositioning of base of the tongue muscles so as i said we are going to be a lepo 1 and bsso osteotomy and counterclockwise rotation of maxillomandibular complex with along with an advancement and an advancement genioplasty so we'll start this procedure in some time thank you So you can breathe. Oh, that's very nice to hear. That's amazing. Now you already able to breathe, and you know, once the swelling comes down, you're gonna like be able to breathe like anything. Wow, that's huge. And this is one week now. Open. You're not able to open. Open some more. Oh, 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 oh. One second, oh. one second. Bite. Oh. Okay. Open. Oh. Oh. Bite. Okay. Open. Oh. Bite. Oh. Bite. Bite. Okay. Yeah. Let's see the side view. Yeah. Look at that. Where's the mirror? It will take a while. That's because your teeth are still not biting in the best possible way. Your bite has to improve a little bit, and then once that happens, the lip will close. Don't worry about that. You can see like this. Keep it here. You can have a look. Yeah. So you can see the entire jawline that's come about now. And well, there's no jawline. Then you can see it was a convex profile. Now we've got a straight profile. Mm -hmm. Even the nose, you can see, was more curvy. Now it's become. We haven't done anything on the nasal bones, mm -hmm. but I have done on your septum, mm -hmm. right? So that's with that. And that's your front view. So everything has become tighter, and this is going to be. And this is three quarter of you like this, and then this is when you look towards me. 
again similar improvements all right so you go today okay see madam most important thing is since all the surgery has been done from inside the mouth you have to take some care even today we've had a patient who has in had proper oral hygiene after you go back okay. then what will happen some of the stitches might give way or infection or something you have to be very careful with i will tell you yeah but i'll tell you what to do that's most important we'll give you a cream apply that cream especially in the lower side upper jenny nothing happens because in gravity everything settles down so apply that it's like a gel like a protection gel you do that religiously even for a month from now first thing secondly don't go to chew heavy food there will be a time before the teeth starts to find the correct match and i always tell that patients might need braces or aligners in your case i think i told you 10% 15% i remember saying you might need aligners now we can't make aligners for you right now if you want we could make it for you one month from now or you're in mumbai you can just make it there it's easier for you that option is also possible theek okay, hai that's the second aspect third aspect is because there are lots of plates and screws in the mouth on the jaws so i think you have to sleep straight don't sleep on the sides for the next 3 weeks 4 weeks no going for gymming for 3 weeks 4 weeks no vigorous activities and no driving a two wheeler stuff like that because you'll be weak now you can faint or you know some issues can happen so the next month be careful that's it after 4 weeks from today which is like 5 weeks after surgery you can do pretty much everything normally and uh, at that time you can also go meet an orthodontist or somebody who can guide you about the braces aligners you will need one for sure okay. but do they want to start it after a month or they want to wait little longer let them decide we start after 6 weeks from the date of surgery earliest so you can see how much of uh, hardware is there and see the gap here okay. see the gap here right. and you know it's only two screws two screws so If you move your jaw in a hurry it can cause some issues